35 familiar faces from British television of the 1970s, as they were then and as they are now. As of the time of recording this video, all the stars featured here are still with us today. To many people, Tom Baker is the greatest Doctor Who of them all. He is also the actor who spent the longest time in the role, seven years between 1974 and 1981. Other television credits include the 1990s medical drama series Medics, the remake of Randall and Hopkirk Deceased, and providing the narration for comedy series Little Britain. Born on the 20th of January 1934 in Liverpool, as of March 2024, Tom Baker is 90 years old. Comedy great Brian Murphy is undoubtedly best known for his role as henpecked husband George Roper in the ITV sitcoms Man About the House and George and Mildred. Other memorable comedy roles for Brian include Alvin Smedley in Last of the Summer Wine, Lester Small in Elf for Lester and Neville in The Catherine Tate Show. Born on the Isle of Wight in 1932, Brian Murphy is 91 years old. Another star of Man About the House, Paula Wilcox first came to prominence in the 1970s sitcom The Lovers. After Man About the House, Paula took the lead role in the sitcom Miss Jones and Son. Other comedy credits over the years include The Smoking Room and Upstart Crow. Paula's most recent TV role was that of Elaine Jones in Coronation Street from 2020 to 2023. Born in Manchester in 1949, as of March 2024, Paula Wilcox is 74 years old. A much-loved member of the Monty Python team, Michael Palin was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II in 2019. A frequent writing partner of fellow Python Terry Jones, the pair wrote and starred in the 70s comedy adventure series Ripping Yarns. Since 1989, Michael has become better known as a globe-trotting traveller in series such as Around the World in 80 Days, Pole to Pole and Full Circle. Born on the 5th of May 1943, Michael Palin is 80 years old. Made a dame in the 2014 New Year's Honours list, much-loved actress Penelope Keith achieved national fame with her performance as Margot Ledbetter in classic sitcom The Good Life, a role for which she won a BAFTA in 1977. Many other TV comedy series followed, including To the Manor Born, Executive Stress and No Job for a Lady. Dame Penelope remains busy today as presenter and narrator of various television documentaries. As of March 2024, Penelope Keith is 83 years old. James Bolam is probably still best remembered today for the role of Terry Collier in The Likely Lads and the 70s sequel Whatever Happened to the Likely Lads. Other 70s and 80s credits include When the Boat Comes In, Only When I Laugh and The Beiderbecke Affair. Between 2003 and 2013, James played Jack Halford in New Tricks. Born in Sunderland in 1935, James Bolam is 88 years old. Rudolph Walker first found fame in 1972 as Bill Reynolds, next door neighbour to Jack Smithhurst's Eddie Booth in the controversial but hugely popular sitcom Love Thy Neighbour, which ran for 53 episodes over 8 series until 1976. Between 1995 and 1996, Rudolph starred alongside Rowan Atkinson in The Thin Blue Line. In 2001, he made his first appearance as Patrick Truman in EastEnders, a role which, as of the date of this video, he still plays today. Born on the 28th of September 1939, Rudolph Walker is 84 years old.
Known for always as the bumbling handyman Benny Hawkins in Crossroads, Paul Henry joined the Midlands-based soap opera in 1975 and remained there until the original series ended in 1988. Paul only made the occasional television appearance after this, with his final on-screen acting role to date being that of Frank in four episodes of Bad Girls in 2005. Born in Birmingham on the 9th of January 1946, as of March 2024, Paul Henry is 78 years old. Made a dame in the 2022 New Year's Honours for services to drama, entertainment and charity, Joanna Lumley began her career as a model before moving into acting at the end of the 60s. Her breakout role came with The New Avengers in 1976, in which she played the part of Purdy. Another iconic role came along in the 90s in the form of Patsy Stone in Absolutely Fabulous. In 2017, Joanna was honoured with the prestigious BAFTA Fellowship. Joanna Lumley was born in India in May 1946 and is 77 years old. One of the finest British actors of all time, Sir Derek Jacobi has excelled in television, film and theatre roles. Although principally a distinguished stage actor, he is also known for a number of excellent television performances, particularly in the title role of the classic 1976 BBC drama I Claudius, for which Sir Derek was awarded the BAFTA for Best Television Actor. He remains a busy actor to this day and will feature in the upcoming blockbuster film sequel Gladiator 2. Born in London in October 1938, as of the recording of this video, Derek Jacobi is 85 years old. Welsh actress Nerys Hughes was one of the most popular stars of British television during the 1970s, starring as Sandra Hutchinson in eight series of the much-loved sitcom The Liverbirds. Nerys returned as Sandra when the series was revived for a short run in 1996. The 1980s period drama series The District Nurse proved to be another hit for the Welsh star. Nerys's last on-screen role to date came in a 2008 episode of Torchwood. As of March 2024, Nerys Hughes is 82 years old. Bill Oddie has enjoyed two very distinct careers, one as a comedy actor and writer, and the other as a respected ornithologist. Throughout the 70s and into the early 80s, Bill was part of the comedy juggernaut that was the goodies. From the mid-80s onwards, he moved into presenting nature programmes such as Birding with Bill Oddie, Nature Watch and Spring Watch. In recent years, he has been a regular guest on various TV panel shows and documentaries. Born in July 1941, Bill Oddie is 82 years old. Robert Lindsay first came to prominence on television in 1975 with a role in the hit comedy series Get Some In. In 1977 he landed the title role in smash hit sitcom Citizen Smith which made him a household name. Other major TV credits over the years include Give Us a Break, GBH and the long-running sitcom My Family. As of March 2024, Robert Lindsay is 74 years old. One of the best-known presenters of the legendary children's television series Blue Peter, Peter Purvis joined the show in 1967 and remained there until 1978 making him the second longest serving male presenter behind John Noakes. Before Blue Peter, Peter Purvis was an actor, most famous as being one of the companions to William Hartnell's Doctor Who. For many years he was also the lead presenter of the BBC's coverage of Crufts. Born in February 1939, Peter Purvis is 85 years old. Staying with Blue Peter, 
Leslie Judd joined the show as a presenter in 1978, forming a long-lasting on-screen partnership with Peter Purvis and John Noakes. Leslie remained with the show until 1979. Later TV credits include stints as a presenter on shows such as The Great Egg Race and Micro Live. Born in London in December 1946, as of March 2024, Leslie Judd is 77 years old. Actor Robin Ellis will forever be associated with the role of Captain Ross Poldark in the classic 1975 BBC period drama series Poldark. The series catapulted Robin to fame and made him a heartthrob to millions. In recent years he has become better known as a writer of cookery books, although he did return to television screens between 2015 and 2019 in the remake of Poldark this time playing the role of the Reverend House. Born on the 8th of January 1942, Robin Ellis is 82 years old. Although he had been acting since the early 60s, it was in 1978 that Ian Ogilvy attained superstar status, taking on the mantle of Simon Templer in The Return of the Saint. Such was the impact of his performance he was for a time a serious contender to take over from Roger Moore as James Bond. Later TV credits for Ian included the 80s sitcom Tom, Dick and Harriet and 52 episodes of the daytime American TV soap opera Generations. His most recent role to date was in the 2022 British action thriller film Renegades. Born on the 30th of September 1943, Ian Ogilvy is 80 years old. Trinidadian-born Don Warrington was just 23 years old when the role of student Philip Smith in the sitcom Rising Damp made him a star. Appearing in every episode of the series from 1974 to 1978, he also starred in the 1980 Rising Damp feature film. Over his distinguished career, Don has appeared in a myriad of TV productions, with regular roles in series such as Cat's Eyes, The Crouches, and most recently, Death in Paradise. Born in May 1951, as of March 2024, Don Warrington is 72 years old. Prunella Scales made her screen debut in a 1952 television adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. She first came to prominence alongside Richard Bryars in the 60s sitcom Marriage Lines before achieving fame in the 1970s as the acid-tongued Sybil Fawlty in comedy classic Fawlty Towers. Another major TV success for Prunella came with the hit sitcom After Henry, which ran from 1988 to 1992. Diagnosed with vascular dementia in 2014, both Prunella and husband Timothy West have been open about how the disease has affected their lives. Born on the 22nd of June 1932, Brunella Scales is 91 years old. A hugely talented member of the Monty Python team, in addition to performing, Eric Idle also composed many of the songs featured in Python's sketches and films, including the classic Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. After Monty Python's Flying Circus came to an end in 1974, Eric created and starred in the sketch series Rutland Weekend Television. From the 1980s onwards, Eric has mainly appeared in film roles. In 2005, he created the stage musical Spamalot, based on the film Monty Python and the Holy Grail. As of March 2024, Eric Idle is 81 years old. Over her long acting career, Wendy Craig has become best known for her roles in a number of successful television sitcoms, the most famous of which is undoubtedly the bittersweet Butterflies. Other popular sitcoms to feature Wendy include Not In Front Of The Children, And Mother Makes Three, and also And Mother Makes Five. She has also appeared in dramas such as The Nanny and The Royal, 
Her last on-screen role to date came in a 2019 episode of Doctors. Wendy Craig was born on the 20th of June 1934 and is 89 years old. Patrick Mower first came to prominence in the early 70s as government agent James Cross in thriller series Callan. He then achieved further success with police action series such as Special Branch and Target. During this time he also appeared regularly as a guest on the panel show Who Done It. Since the year 2000 Patrick has played the part of Rodney Blackstock in Emmerdale. Born in Oxford in 1938, as of March 2024 Patrick Mower is 85 years old. Beginning her career as a model and actress, Jenny Handley rose to fame as a presenter on Magpie, the ITV rival to the BBC's Blue Peter. Debuting on the show in 1974, she remained until the series came to an end in 1980. She also presented the BBC chat show Saturday Night at the Mill between 1980 and 1981. In recent years Jenny has mainly worked in radio and currently presents a show on Boom Radio. Jenny Hanley was born in August 1947 and is 76 years old. One of the most popular comedians of his era, Jimmy Tarbuck first came to the attention of TV audiences during the 1960s when he replaced Bruce Forsyth as host of Sunday Night at the London Palladium. In addition to his own show, It's Tarby, during the 70s Jimmy also hosted the long-running game show Winner Takes All. During the 1980s he returned to hosting variety spectaculars such as Live from Her Majesty's. Born in Liverpool on the 6th of January 1940, Jimmy Tarbuck is 84 years old. Distinguished actor Simon Williams first rose to fame as the irresponsible James Bellamy in the classic period drama series Upstairs Downstairs, a role he would play from 1971 to 1975. In addition to many film and stage roles, later television credits for Simon include Agony, Don't Wait Up and Holby City. For the past 10 years Simon has enjoyed a regular role in the long-running radio serial The Archers. Born in June 1946, as of March 2024, Simon Williams is 77 years old. Before moving into presenting, Sally James was an actress who had small roles in films such as To Serve With Love and The Railway Children. In 1977 she joined the presenting team on the hugely popular Saturday morning TV show Tis Was remaining with the series until it came to an end in 1982. From 1982 to 1983 she co-presented the nightly BBC2 entertainment show 655 Special with David Soul. Since 1993 Sally has run a successful business supplying school uniforms to a wide range of educational establishments. Born in May 1950 Sally James is 73 years old. I can't talk about Tiz Was without including Chris Tarrant. The main anchor on the series from 1974 till 1981, he also became one of the main creative forces on the show. After leaving Tiz Was, Chris created and presented the adult spin off show OTT in 1982. From 1984 to 2004, he presented the Capital Radio Breakfast Show, and from 1998 to 2014, hosted the smash hit quiz show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. In recent years Chris has fronted the travel series Chris Tarrant Extreme Railways. As of March 2024 Chris Tarrant is 77 years old. Best known for being a member of the legendary comedy team The Goodies, Graham Garden studied medicine before moving into acting and writing. In addition to starring in The Goodies during the 1970s, he co-wrote many of the episodes of hit sitcom Doctor in the House alongside his friend Bill Oddie. 
Graham's sharp comedy brain ensured he was always in demand as a guest on various comedy panel shows. His last on-screen acting role to date came in the 2012 comedy series The Old Bleak Shop of Stuff. Born in Aberdeen, Scotland, Graham Garden is 81 years old. For those of us who were children during the 70s, Derek Griffiths was a familiar and comforting presence on our TV screens, being a regular and much-loved presenter of Play School throughout the decade. During the 1980s, he presented the children's series Film Fun and provided the voice of Super Ted. As an actor, Derek has starred in series such as Don't Drink the Water, Pork Pie and Coronation Street. His most recent on-screen role was in a 2023 episode of drama series Unforgotten. Born on the 15th of July 1946, Derek Griffiths is 77 years old. American-born Connie Booth made a TV debut in 1969, appearing in a number of episodes of Monty Python's Flying Circus. In 1975, she co-wrote and starred in Forty Towers alongside her then-husband John Cleese, with the second series arriving in 1979. After making a number of guest appearances in various series, Connie retired from acting in 1995 and worked as a psychotherapist. As of March 2024, Connie Booth is 83 years old. Richard O'Sullivan was a child actor of the 50s, a supporting actor during the 60s and a TV comedy superstar of the 70s. He shot to fame with the role of Robin Tripp in Man About the House solidifying his status with the spin-off series Robin's Nest in 1977. More hit series followed, including Dick Turpin and Me and My Girl. Richard retired from acting in 1996 and for the past number of years has lived at Brinsworth House, a retirement home for entertainers in London. Although Stanley Baxter was one of the biggest comedy stars on television during the 60s and 70s, today he is often unfairly forgotten when talk turns to great TV comedy stars of the past. His comedy variety shows often attracted huge audiences and would likely have carried on for many more years had they not been so expensive to produce. Stanley made a welcome return to TV in 2008 with the one-off show Stanley Baxter Now and Then. As of March 2024, Stanley Baxter is 97 years old. Better known today as a highly acclaimed star of stage musicals, Michael Crawford shot to stardom with his role as the hapless Frank Spencer in the hit sitcom Some Mothers Do Have Em. Running from 1973 to 1978, the series saw the star perform all of his own stunts. A far less successful sitcom, Chalk and Cheese, followed in 1979. From the 80s onwards, Michael has concentrated on theatre work, including smash hit musicals such as Barnum and The Phantom of the Opera. Born on the 19th of January 1942, Michael Crawford is 82 years old. Felicity Kendall rose to fame with her role as Barbara Good in the iconic 70s sitcom The Good Life. After the series ended, Felicity moved into other TV comedy productions such as Solo, The Mistress and Honey for Tea. Between 2003 and 2006, she starred in the popular crime series Rosemary and Time. In recent years, Felicity has remained busy with various roles in the theatre. As of March 2024, Felicity Kendall is 77 years old. One of the biggest comedy stars of the 70s and beyond, John Cleese first came to prominence on The Frost Report during the 1960s, before finding lasting fame as a member of the Monty Python team. 
Faulty Towers, perhaps his greatest triumph, is still considered by many to be the finest sitcom of all time. His performance in the 1988 smash hit film A Fish Called Wanda saw John win the BAFTA for Best Actor and be nominated for the Best Actor Oscar. Still acting today, his most recent role was in the 2023 film The Palace. Who are your favourite stars of British television from the 1970s? Do please let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed today's video, a little click on the thumbs up button is always very much appreciated. As always, many thanks for watching and do join me next time for more nostalgic goodness.